Clay Ferrero, live now outside Braddock Senior High School in Kendall, where evacuees are being turned away once again from a shelter. Clay, what is the latest? Calvin and Lori, it's really a sobering feel, a sobering scene here. We've spoken to people who have been turned away and other people who said they're just not ready to go inside quite yet. They want a few more minutes of fresh air before they go in there for uh, what could be a long period of time. We spoke with one lady who said just that. She said she is free to go inside the shelter, but she's not quite ready yet. In fact, she asked us if we would help her move her luggage so she could just wait it out for a little while before she goes inside. Then we spoke to another family earlier just about 20 minutes ago, who said that not only have they been turned away, but they really have nowhere else to go around here, and they've officially given up. They're going to get back in their car, and they're going to try to drive all the way to Texas. They're leaving right now. They have consolidated their cars. They're getting in one car, and they're trying to leave and head out as soon as they can. Uh, Mayor Jimenez was here just a little while ago. Uh, he did leave right before we got here. But they are starting to fill up here. They are turning people away. They expect it to be completely packed inside. Very calm right now. There is a strong police presence right here, uh, clearly because they do know that they will be turning people away, and they want to make sure that the mood stays calm and that people stay calm and under control. But you know, unfortunately, people who did not get here early enough, that really is the prevailing theme right now. People either being turned away or even people who are able to go inside, just not ready to do that quite yet. Let's send it back to you guys. And, and Clay, I'm, I'm curious to find out what is the capacity at Braddock High School? Yeah, we're going to ask and find that out. Okay. We pulled up just a little while oh, ago, uh, but right now they said that they are at capacity. So uh, they really won't be able to allow anybody else in who has not already uh, been either registered or, or approved to come in. Yeah, I, I was hoping to show just... Uh just how folks are really trying to jam into those shelters. Sure, and Clay, we've heard from other shelters yes. earlier today where some people, you, you're not even allowed to go out and get things out of your car. I mean, once you're settled in, you can't leave because they really don't know who's going to come and go. So once you've got your spot, is it true that you really can't leave, come and go? Well, that's a very good point. And I think as our, our meteorologists have been saying, this is going to be a long event. It's not just going to be a one night event. It's, it may not even be just a two night event. This may be an extended period of time. So as you said, I, I think many people are heeding those words that once they go inside, they are going to be inside for an unforeseeable amount of time. So yes, either whether they just want to get one more breath of fresh air before going inside for a long period of time, or they're just not quite ready to, to deal with the large crowds that they're going to see once they get inside here uh, but it is very sobering and and it is uh, it, on one hand you're 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 thankful for the people that are able to get inside that have heeded the warnings and got here early and quickly on the other hand you do feel for people who are now forced to go find other options yeah I, and, and I was going to ask you about that and Clay we have about 50 seconds to work with here but I'm curious to hear more about your conversation with the family you help with the luggage did they wait it out thinking that Irma was going to wobble to the left or to the right and not be some sort of a hit on South Florida uh, no, in fact, that was just uh, one, one lady. She was very nice, but she looked at us and she said, look, I'm just not ready yet. I, I'm just not ready to go inside. Uh, again, she does have her spot, so she will be able to go inside. She does have a spot. Now, the people that we spoke to that are leaving to go to Texas, that family that we spoke to, they are from Texas. They were here visiting. In fact, they tried to go over to Marlins Park, hoping that that would be an open shelter and an option for them. So now they said, that's it. We've given up. We've gone through all of our options. We're just going to get back in one car, leave one car here on the side of the road, get back in that other car and drive back to Killian, Texas. All right. Clay Ferrero talking with folks there at that yeah. shelter and uh, let us know if anything changes out there. Thank you, Clay.